I'm Debbie Dairy Berry. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a dog toy. Now, when a dog gets a hold of a toy, he can rip it up pretty good. And when you see all the stuffing all over the floor, you might want to throw this away. But you don't have to. I'm going to show you how to fix it. First thing you want to do is take all this stuffing and shove it back inside. Here we go. Kiwi, you were a naughty boy tearing out all this stuffing, weren't you? He hurt me, he hurt me, ah! Okay, next we're gonna sew it up. So Kiwi, you know we're gonna have to sew your toy up now because you went and wrecked it. You wrecked me. I'm gonna eat you up. <laughs> okay, so you go down while I show everybody how to sew up the toy. A good dog toy does not have plastic eyes. See, they're sewn with like thread. So it's not like something he can choke on. Also, there's none of those little pellets that you find in a lot of the stuffed animals. It's just foam. Just a whole lot of foam all over your floor. Here's another secret. Instead of buying one for 10, 20 bucks at the pet store, go to the thrift shop. They have like piles of them. Just go through them and wash them in the washing machine. Honestly, your dog doesn't know the difference, I swear. First thing you wanna do, well, after you do all that, is get yourself some thread. Normally I'd get the same color, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to use some black thread. So good, we've got our needle threaded. And generally what I do at the end of the thread is I pull both of the threads together and put it up against this white shirt, you can see it. And then if you just wet your fingers and kind of twirl it, you can make a knot. Now I'm going to sew it up so the dog can't get it open again. It's called an overcast stitch. So, I'm going to go up through the underside Hiding the knot, you make a circle, you go through both these pieces of fabric, and you go through your loop. Okay, kind of make a loop, go through both pieces of fabric, one, two, and then it's already through the loop. I'm going to make a loop, go through both pieces of fabric. You can kind of see where the black thread is showing. I'm doing large, longer stitches. But if you do shorter stitches, it'll hold better. Now when you're all done with that, you'll make a little knot. You do the knot by going back through where you were and through the loop again, which I just did. And then you go through the knot again and through your loop. There, it's pretty well sewn up. And I'll take my scissors and cut it fairly close so the dog can't get it. There. This is a good boy. Well, you're kind of a bad boy, but you're a good boy because I fixed it. So in review, when you're getting a dog toy, make sure there's no plastic eyes like buttons or anything, that it's just flush with it and it's part of the fabric. And then make sure there's none of those little balls in the hands and feet that you'll find in a lot of the tie toys. And then um, make sure they're very, very cute and you can repair them as many times as you want. So, like, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you just... Push this button right here. That one right there. That's right. Anyway, this is Debbie Derryberry, voice of Jimmy Neutron. See ya. My name's Kiwi Brown, and I like to rip up all my toys like this one right here. I ripped it up real good earlier. Okay, give me down from here.